Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sing Pray with Jay. My name is Janelle, and today I have another small slash indie beauty brand makeup haul. So in this video, it's going to be all black owned body care and cosmetics. But before we start the video, I did want to take a moment and congratulate the winner for my giveaway. So this was a giveaway I had open. It's for the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette and the giveaway did end on the 12th so I did want to announce the winner today. I did use a generator so the winner is totally chosen at random and the winner is Jasmine Delgado. I will be replying to your comment on this video over here and I will be asking for your contact information so I can send you this beautiful palette. Congratulations again girl! Okay, so the first product I have to share is from Glow Up Academy. This is their best in class glitter set. It comes with 12 glitters in a little case. My case did come a bit cracked, but it still works. This cost $30, and if you bought them separate, they're like about $7 each, so it's a lot cheaper just to buy one of her sets. She has so many sets to choose from. There are like neon colors, there's holographic colors, all type of colors to choose from. The best in class is all her best selling glitters, so I just got these. Plus it has like a lot of the shades that I like to use when it comes to glitters. So like if you like neutrals and colors that aren't like so bright and bold, this set would be perfect for you. And then shipping was about $5. It did take a while to get to me. I ordered this, I believe, on April 19th. And I just received this a couple days ago in the mail. So shipping does take a long time, but I do think it was worth it. Um, I was kind of hoping that like the size of the jars were going to be a little bit bigger. This is how small the jars are. I mean like with glitter, you only need a little bit. So I know this is going to last quite a long time. And this is a black owned brand. She doesn't just sell glitters. She also sells lip glosses. And she just released an eyeshadow palette that's like really, really, really pretty. Um, I didn't pick that up. I just got the glitters since I bought so many palettes already. But it is a very gorgeous palette. It's about $48. And you do get like 36 shades. So I will put a picture of it like up on the screen like over here of what the palette looks like. So the next brand I have to share with you guys is called Pretty Girl Beauty. This quickly became one of my favorite brands. She sells a lot of body care items, she sells skin care, and she also sells um, lip products and eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that. I did get some of her lip glosses, her lip care, and a bunch of body care items. I placed three orders. So these are the bubble tea lip glosses. I got strawberry milk and black milk. They smell so, so good by the way. So this smells exactly like her strawberry milk body um, butter, which I do have. And this is a strawberry milk lip gloss. I think this is really cute. I think it would look good on its own and also paired with a lip liner or on top of a lipstick. So this is the black milk bubble tea lip gloss. It is more pigmented than the strawberry milk. These are $10 a piece. They're very moisturizing. They give like nice hydration to your lips. They're not sticky, but they are on the thicker side, which I like. Next, I got one of her whipped lip scrubs in the scent Strawberry Watermelon. This is a really nice lip scrub. It's soft and exfoliates your lips without like scraping it. This lip scrub has a very strong watermelon and strawberry scent, which I really like. So the next item I have from Pretty Girl Beauty is her Baby Bear um, brush. This is good for her body milks and for her lip scrubs. 
So this part you would use for applying the lip scrub onto your lips and exfoliating. This works really nicely. And this part would be for applying your body milk onto your skin. She refers to her body butters as body milks. Next, I have one of her silk lip masks. This is strawberry and watermelon scented as well. This is just like a lip balm almost. I use this at night and I've been using it for like the past week. And it keeps my lips very, very soft. So these are the two body butters I purchased. She refers to these as her body milks. So this one is really good for stretch marks and um, hyperpigmentation. So I've been using it for that. I haven't seen any changes in my stretch marks as of yet. So I will have to keep using this and let you guys know. And then this right here is her Strawberry Milkshake Body Butter. This smells so, so good. This is actually my favorite. I actually ended up purchasing another one. So you can get two different sizes. This is the 8 ounce jar and this is the 4 ounce jar. This one I believe is $12 and this one I think is either $20 or $22. I'll put the prices up on the screen. These are whipped formula so it's like half white and half pink as well. This one kind of melted in the mail so I had to put it in the fridge. So I'm going to show you guys how you would use these together. So you would take the end of this baby bear applicator and just dip it in the product and then you would just apply it to your skin just like that and then just blend it out. It gives your skin a nice healthy glow. This keeps my skin hydrated all day long and moisturized. I have very dry skin and I just love this formula. So next I have some of her body scrubs. These are actually the same ones but they came a little bit different in packaging. She had ran out in one of her restocks of the clear caps so she had to use some white caps. And then also you can see like this one is kind of like a lighter pink compared to this one. But they're both the same and they still smell exactly the same. This is her Watermelon Bliss Foaming Sugar Scrub. So this is what inside the body scrub looks like. It has matcha, vitamin E, and it also has green tea. This feels really nice in the shower. And it's very soft. I've never tried a foaming sugar scrub before. So like when I applied it and when, when I rinsed it off, it kind of like made like almost a milk like texture. And it didn't feel like rough on the skin or anything like that. So if you do purchase this size, which is an 8 ounce, this does retail for I think it's either $22 or $24. I believe it's $24. I'll put the price on the screen as well. So from all the products I purchased from Pretty Girl Beauty, my favorites were the Watermelon Bliss Sugar Scrub and then also the Strawberry Milkshake Body Butter. So these are repurchases. I made a second order and I had to get like bigger versions of these to have extras and she's always selling out. So I try to catch it like on every restock and with like the hyperpigmentation body butter that one sold out so quickly so i couldn't get my hands on the eight ounce jar so i had to get the four ounce jar and with these when i purchased it the second time it sold out like literally after i made my purchase so if you want to get any of her products i would go for the early access as long as you can get it and then also be on the site as soon as possible and ready to know like what you're going to put in your cart and everything like that and then the last product, well, actually the last brand I have to share with you guys is called Subtle and Wild. I did find them on Etsy. So I got one of her body butters. This is peach scented. And it's an 8 ounce jar. This was $15.99. And this formula is very, very thick. I've used a lot of the products so far. It smells, it smells really good. I don't really smell the peach so much. I smell more like flowers or so more like a floral scent to me. 
but it smells really really good and it's very moisturizing on the skin I still feel like the pretty girl beauty body milk lasts longer than this one but I like to use this one at night also because it's so thick and I also got one of her glow butters this is a two ounce jar this retails for six dollars you can get a bigger size but I just wanted to try it out because I don't typically like shimmer or like glitter or anything like that in like lotions and stuff but this one is like one of her best sellers so I did want to try it out so this is what it looks like I only use a little bit because I want to show you guys what the rose like the little whipped texture looks like on top okay guys sorry for this video being a little bit long but thank you so much for watching let me know down below what's your favorite small beauty brand if you've tried one before and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys